here I have a couple of shots, you know, and here, you know, a complete disaster shot, you know, something's gone wrong here with the white balance, right? Here I have a phase that I quite like, you know, here is another kind of, you know, angle, like, you know, that shot very strong close up. And here I have a completely different model. Now, let's say, for example, I want to say, all right, um, I'm going to just go and apply a little bit contrast here because I want to just increase a little bit contrast on this shot. And I'm going to say, okay, this is my reference and I want to match this scene now. Okay, so, you know, this is considered to be like a challenging kind of scene, you know, let's let me show you why, you know, so for example, you see this shot, you know, didn't quite work out from first and the reason why is because I didn't, you know, use the right model. So I can just go to RGB and RGB works, by the way, best if you have this similarity, if you have same camera, you know, and you just apply, look, you know, RGB is just, you know, perfect model for that. So look, the moment I switch this one to RGB, I got a perfect match here. So that's fine. Now this shot here, you know, I can then, you know, choose maybe, and I think probably, you know, perceptual, you know, actually this one's fine. I'm going to leave it here, but I could also just go for balance only. And I find this one to be a little bit better, but what am I going to do with this shot? right? It's a completely different background. So the system's getting lost. Like, what should I match? Face, background, what to do? So here is where this kind of advanced method comes in, you know? So basically, I'm going to click here on open advanced match, and I'm going to start it. And what's really happening is that we made matching to be interactive, okay? And the moment you click the button, the algorithm just straight away kind of on the fly gives you the new result. And that's kind of a genius again, you know, that we got like, you know, some kind of little tricks, you know, that, that, that really are important, you know, for this kind of, you know, how you interact with application. So what you got here, first of all, is you have two matching models. So what you want to do then is you want to say, okay, do I want to be in daily mode? Or in, because daily mode is actually trying to bring contrast really nicely together. So you see Berlin and, and daily gives me like a really nice match already. I would say I, I could actually live with that. And then I can decide, do I want to match saturation? Okay, it doesn't make much difference. Do I want to match contrast? Yes, definitely want to match, you know, brightness. Uh, well, actually the brightness is now completely brought it kind of, you know, pink. no, I don't want brightness. I leave that. And do I want to match color to the reference? Absolutely not, because I want this background to be good. And you see, I have now very kind of choosing, you know, which model I want, what do I match from this image, what do I want to don't want to match. I came up to, you know, very quickly to like, a, you know, a really, really, you know, good looking model that I can then go and just tweak a little bit further if I feel like it, you know. Now, this is probably something where you would want to use a little secondaries as well, isn't it? You know, because you want just kind of, you know, maybe to isolate her face, but, you know, for this kind of first pass we came to a really good result, you know, just simply by, by, you know, using this, you know, custom model.